Hey, I'm Alexa. It came to my attention that Heroku is doing away with their free plans, which is really sad because I use Heroku to host my personal website. Following this announcement, I've decided to migrate to Vulture and actually invest in a real virtual private server. In this video, I'll show you how to deploy a Node.js app to Ubuntu server on Vulture using Nginx, Certbot, and PM2. Also, credit to Haley Codes for this blog post that walks you through the commands step by step. You should definitely use her link to sign up for Vulture, which I'll leave in the description. First, go to the Vulture website and create an account. It's going to ask you to put in your billing information and such, but I am just going to log in. You're gonna go to your dashboard in the product section you can click this plus sign and it says deploy new server so do that you're gonna select cloud compute uh, regular performance and choose the location closest to you also you want to select ubuntu 22.04 so you can use the same installation commands as me and if newer versions or distributions are available, you can choose those. Just know some commands may be different and you may have to research. You can choose the cheapest server size. And you can disable backups and disable enable IPv6. And you're going to enter a host name for your server. I'm just going to call my personal website. And you're going to deploy that. So now it's going to be installing all of our stuff on the server. And it'll take a few minutes, so I'm going to leave it to do its thing. All right, it looks like our server is now running, so let's click on it. And we're going to copy this IP address. We're going to go and open terminal or terminal if you're on Mac or download a command line that supports SSH like putty on Windows and you're gonna enter the command SSH root at and then paste that IP address from the server instance and you're gonna press enter and <laughs> it's gonna say connection refused because uh, my server is apparently still installing things so if you run into this problem just wait a few minutes and uh, that should work all right, it looks like it's working now, and um, we want to continue connecting, so say yes. And then you're going to want to copy and paste the password from your Vulture dashboard or whatever virtual uh, hosting platform you're using. So copy that password and just paste it into your terminal and press enter. And now you should be inside of your server. Now that we are connected to our server via SSH, we can start installing the tools we need to host our Node app. So we're going to run sudo apt get update, which is going to update all of the package information on our server. And then we're going to run sudo apt get install nginx. Nginx is going to intercept requests made, made to the server, then talk to our Node.js app about what response to send back. We're going to just say yes. And we're going to change some of the default. Oh, also, if you see this pop up, just press enter and then press tab and then enter. Sometimes it co comes up when we run commands, but um, Next, we'll change some of the default firewall configurations on Ubuntu servers so that Nginx can work properly and we can SSH back into the server. So let's say sudo ufw allow nginx http. And we'll say sudo ufw allow open ssh and sudo ufw enable then let's run system stl 
status nginx. And this command should give us somewhere uh, something that says active running. So we have that here, and that's how we know it worked. And we're just going to run the command sudo system stl restart nginx. All right, so that's going to make sure all of our nginx rules saved. Now what we want to do is install certbot, and this will set up the SSL certificates for our site so we can get nice HTTPS sites with that have that secure lock on Google, and that's good. So say sudo apt install certbot python 3-certbot-nginx. So yes. And then what we're going to have to do is open the, again, just press tab and enter. We're going to open a file, an nginx config file in slash etc slash nginx sites available and then default. So this is just a file and you can scroll down to the server name attribute here and we're going to replace this with the underscore with your domain name dot com so alexa oops i'm in all caps alexa fazio dot dev and then ww dot alexa fazio dot all right oh and um Sorry. To exit that file, you just press Control X to exit, and then it'll prompt you if you want to save, and you'll say yes, and then press, you'll say Y, and then press Enter. Then what we want to do is verify that the file is just all right, and we can say in sudo nginx-t, and it's saying the syntax is okay, test is successful, and we'll say sudo system stl reload nginx. All right, now let's modify some rules. Oops, I spelled that wrong. And one more. Apparently that was invalid syntax. Uh, I accidentally put uf w twice. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now you can go into your domain registrar and go to the name server section. I'm using Google Domain, so I'm gonna click my domain name and go to DNS, and then you can go to default name servers, and you're just gonna add two records. So you'll click manage custom records and then you'll type the host name so for this you'll leave it blank but sometimes you have to put an at symbol and this is the a name record so you'll select a leave ttl whatever it is and you can put in the ip address of your vulture server instance which is what we copied for that ssh command and you also want to put a cname record just so you get that www.subdomain so say www and then cname and then you're going to put your domain name with a dot at the end and you can save that and then what you want to do is go back to terminal and we are going to run the command sudo certbot dash dash nginx and then dash d and then your domain name so alexa fazio dot dev dash d and then the domain name with the ww dot at the front press enter and um you can enter your email if you want All the other stuff, I would say yes. And then yes. So now it's going to take some time to request a SSL certificate 
for you. And uh, it's going to say no for me because I actually already have an SSL for this website. But um, yeah, if it doesn't work for you, then just rerun the command and it should work just fine. But you're going to go and now install node. So you can type cd to just make sure you're in the root directory and then you're going to run this command. All these commands will be in the blog post in the description. It's This command is curl and then we're just getting the node source. So we'll do that and then we'll say sudo bash node source underscore setup dot sh. All right, then we'll run sudo app dash get install node.js say yes press enter press tab enter and we'll do sudo apt get install build dash essential okay so now what you want to do is clone your GitHub repository with all your code. So I have this GitHub repository with my portfolio. So I'm going to go and click the code button and clone by HTTPS. Copy that. And let's go back to terminal. We'll say git clone. And then just paste that URL, whatever it is. Press enter. And now we'll CD into that folder. And now what you want to do is make sure you install all the dependencies for your app. So if you're using npm, that would be npm install, or if you're using like yarn or something. Um, oops, I guess we don't have npm installed, so we'll just say apt install npm. Yes, and that should install. Apparently npm is not installed with this specific node I guess we installed, but it usually does come with it. I don't know why it didn't for some reason, but it shouldn't be too much trouble to install it. Press enter and then tab enter. Okay, and then we'll do npm install. Hopefully this works. And it looks like it's installing all of our dependencies for our project, which is good. All right, now let's do npm start just to make sure our app is actually running and Boom, our app's up. Also, one thing to note is if you have a .env file, you're gonna have to create that .env file inside of this server, and you can do that by just doing nano.env and then putting all your environment variables into that file. But um, I'm not gonna do that right now. Oops, it looks like we got an error because it we don't have that .env file set up and it doesn't know where to put our MongoDB stuff. Anyway, we're going to install PM2, which is used to keep our app running, so it doesn't crash when we have errors like this. So we'll say sudo npm install dash g pm2, that's gonna make it a global installation. All right, now let's run pm2 start, and then the name of your app.js file or whatever file you use in your server that sort of starts the server. It's usually app.js or server.js or index.js. So mine is app.js. And um, looks like it started. And then we'll do pm2 startup system d. All right. And the last command should give you an output that you can copy and run something like path all right so now let's change something in the nginx config file again so we'll say sudo nano slash etc slash nginx slash sites available and then default we're gonna scroll down to the location 
And here we're going to change some things. So you can delete this line that says try files. And we're going to go and say proxy underscore pass. And then HTTP. And then after that, we're going to add a few other things. I'm just going to copy them in. So you don't have to watch me painfully type this stuff. But all of this, again, will be in the description. Just going to indent this. All right. And the localhost 3000, that will depend which port you're serving on for your website and your code. Usually you serve on port 3000 though. Now let's do control X and then press Y to save and then press enter. And then you're going to do sudo engine X dash T and it's going to say it looks okay or it's going to say it's not and then you'll have to go back and check. And then we'll do sudo system STL restart engine X. All right. So our app should be working right now. Um, you can go ahead to your domain and check if it's working. And in order to make changes to your app, let's say you uh, have new features on your app, you're going to want to upload those features to GitHub, push them to Git, and then from the server, you want to use the command git pull, and it'll pull down all those server changes. And then you're going to want to type the command pm2 restart and then the name of your app. So that would be app.js, I'm pretty sure. And that'll restart your app with those new changes. That is how you run a Node.js app on Vulture using an Ubuntu server. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you want more content, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.